Version 0.3 brings a ton of new features and bug fixes, which were done by awesome people who joined me in this project. I'm really thankful for all your support and every piece of work you guys did so far. Regardless, anyone who is willing to help out or maybe just wants to have a little chat with us is invited to join us in our Gitter chat room, where we discuss our changes or just talk about random topics. While particle effects in Gothic can have a large amount of properties and settings, I've implemented the basic ones which allows us to render most of the simpler effects like fire or smoke. Now campfires or torches are actually lit and some other ambient effects do play as well. However, there isn't any support for effects to be started from scripts or animation events yet. Rather than going like Jesus, the hero is now able to swim in water. The wading animation has been implemented as well. NPCs, mostly in Gothic 2, won't run around naked or with the wrong texture assigned anymore. The parser has been modified to correctly read their choice of texture and skin tone. Also a problem with the original script files has been worked around which caused some NPCs to not have had on them. Played animations are now interpolated between frames. This means animations are now looking as smooth as in the original. Blending between animations is not implemented yet though. The dialogue system has received plenty of fixes and new features. Dialogue messages won't have to be manually advanced when the played sound ended. The dialogue will continue automatically when the sound is finished. Some dialogue lines are flagged as important inside the script files. That flag means that an NPC having such a message will start talking to you if you just get near him. While that doesn't work yet, they are automatically started if you begin talking to such an NPC. Another key change is that sub-dialogues are now actually functioning. These are dialogues where you get options to choose from to answer a question for example. Previously they wouldn't let you complete many of the quests, which is not possible. This is an important fix to get the game in a more playable state. The whole sound engine has been rewritten to work with plain OpenAL rather than the SFML solution I quickly hacked in to test the sound loader. This new engine also reads all properties of registered sounds in the game script files, which contain volume or reverb settings for example. There's still a lot to do, but we've made great progress so far. Stay tuned for the next updates and thanks for watching.